Hey guys, so today I am having a meal with my friends, my high school friends for the very last time before I leave and we are at a southern food restaurant. Uh, we love southern food here and the great thing about being in Bangkok is it's such a central place that any region of cuisine can be found in Bangkok and southern food has become very popular in the recent years. So the first items to arrive, this is Kanom Jin, sort of a set. So Kanom Jin, this is rice noodles here and this set comes with three different sauces. So you can think of this as sort of our version of pasta. So this one is a little sweet, this one has a coconut turmeric curry, this one is something that is incredibly spicy. And the set also comes with a ton of vegetables and pickles. This is pickled mustard greens to sort of, you know, balance the, the richness a little bit. Tons of vegetables. Southern food is always known for having tons of vegetables. This one here is Tao Yam. Again, I always order this whenever I'm having southern food and it's a rice salad. And it's got some red rice, some pomelo, cucumber, um, toasted coconut, dry shrimp, and a ton of different things. This is a sour southern curry. So it's gang liang, literally yellow curry. The broth is made yellow with turmeric and these little balls is really interesting it's called kai pla and they're fish eggs here it is kai pla it's a little creamy but it's mostly just kind of chewy and starchy if you didn't tell me i would think that this is some sort of a sticky rice ball you know it's got that really nice texture it tastes not no fishiness at all the curry is spicy but really good flavor if you get a chance, give it a try. So this one is also a classic southern dish. This is a stir fry of sapal, which is stinky beans, and um, shrimp paste and shrimp. So this is pladang, thot kamin. So it's basically fish deep fried and rubbed in turmeric and tons and tons of garlic. So turmeric is a thing that's huge in the south, and so sometimes it just simply marinate fish in turmeric and deep fry it. Simple, simple goodness. So these are actually complimentary. The restaurant just gave a bowl of a southern variety of peanuts. I'm calling them peanuts. They're probably not actually peanuts, so they taste kind of like peanuts, but it's a southern variety. And the inside is like that, and they've been boiled. Mm. Super creamy, and it does have that peanut flavor. It's really nice, actually. It's a nice sort of snack. Here is a southern coconut soup. So it's a coconut soup with a southern vegetable called pakgur. I have no idea what it's called in English. With hearts of palm these crunchy, nutty things here, and some shrimp. All right, here's the soup. Mm. It's actually really well balanced. It doesn't, it's not spicy, it's creamy, it's comforting. It doesn't have that sharp, normal flavor of, of a Thai soup, like a tom yam. So a really nice dish to wash everything down with. And for dessert, we've got this, what's called la chong. I've talked about this a couple of times. It's basically rice noodles. The green color comes from pandan leaf, and it's served in a coconut palm sugar syrup. Super classic, very easy to find, and very, very refreshing way to finish a meal.